Hello there. Hi, it's Tuesday. Uh, welcome to another weekly reading vlog. I should have started this yesterday, but that's okay. Uh, so it's Tuesday um, around three o'clock. I just got off of work not too long ago. To be honest, I'm kind of sleepy, so I think I'm going to take a nap in just a little bit. But I wanted to give you a reading update because this morning I started Brightly Burning by Alexa Dunn. Let's see if you can see the cover. Um, Alexa Dunn is a uh, author tuber, booktuber here on YouTube and she's pretty well known and I'm a big fan of her channel so I've been wanting to read her book for a while now and since I found it at the library I figured I would give it a go though this book is a retelling of Jane Eyre set in space so I wasn't really sure if I could read it without you know knowing the story of Jane Eyre which I don't I've never read Jane Eyre I wanted to give it a go regardless because you know I wanted to check out the book and um so far i'm on page 95 95 um already so it's a really quick read and i'm actually enjoying it a lot despite not knowing you know the original uh story which you know i think is fine it's fine um this reimagining is sort of a post-apocalyptic story you could say i don't think i would categorize it as dystopian more like post-apocalyptic sci-fi set in space and it's really giving me uh the 100 vibes in the beginning of the book at least because you're we're being described what happened to earth and why people no longer live on earth um and why people are living in these space stations and whatnot so that was it reminded me of the hundred but also it also reminded me of of Xenon Girl of the 21st Century with a lot of like the the characters uh, involved in the beginning kind of like their interactions just gave me that sort of vibe um, I don't know if anyone remembers you know the Disney Channel movies but it really reminded me of that and now we have our main character what's her name I already forgot her name I'm so bad um, her name is Stella and Stella is an engineer and then she gets a job on another space station and now that's where she's going and I think there's going to be romance in this book probably heavy romance because I think Alexa Dunn is a huge fan of romance so I'm just assuming this book is going to have a lot of that so I don't know if I'm gonna enjoy that part of the book but we'll see how it goes uh, so far I am enjoying this because I, I love space books I love sci-fi so uh, this is definitely up my alley but we'll see how the rest goes fingers crossed it's good so I'm gonna go take a nap right now because I'm so tired an hour nap should do and then I'll wake up again and I'll read some more and maybe I'll update you maybe I won't we'll see no promises um so yeah I will see you later bye p.m. on Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? Yeah, it's Wednesday. And um, I'm about to go to bed because I have to be up around four in the morning, um, but I forgot to give you a reading update. Um, so, reading update now. Um, I had a tragedy today, you guys. Um, I forgot my book at work again. I can't believe I did it again. It's ridiculous. But as you know, I'm reading Brightly Burning by Alexa Dunn, and I read more at work. I read up to page 200 at work, and then, you know, I was planning on reading as soon as I got home, but I forgot it. So that is really unfortunate, and I'm really sad about that. And um, I was enjoying it. I feel like there's a lot more romance that's been introduced to the book, or like, I wouldn't say heavy romance, but just angsty romance, like feelings that that are there that are present but people haven't acted on it yet so there's a lot of that um there were new characters that were introduced to the space station there are these other there's a different space station that i think wants to um merge with the space station that our main character is at right now and i think there's like a marriage prospect that's probably going on with the captain but there's a lot of drama and whatnot so there's a lot going on and i am enjoying it but because i couldn't read more when i got home i decided to pick up another book in the meantime so i picked up legendary by Steph stephanie garber this is the sequel to caraval i only made it to about 30 pages before I realized I should go to bed because I have to be up at four in the morning but I'm on chapter three chapter three page 
31 and I dog-eared the page. I know, I know, terrible, but oh well, I don't care. Um, and so something interesting about this sequel is that we follow a different main character this time or a different point of view. Uh, the first book we followed, I believe, Stella, her point of view. And then in this book, or Stella, what was her name? What was the main girl? Scarlet. Her name was Scarlet. And in this book, the sequel, we are following Tella. Donatella is her name. So the sister. So we're just switching perspectives and I think that's really interesting. Um, although I do think that so far they read really similar so I feel like it's kind of hard to tell the sisters apart right now. So hopefully there are some uh, characteristics that come into play. Maybe some of their morals and just just the way they view the world and I'm able to kind of decipher between the two but so far they're really similar um I mean they are sisters so they're similar but you know usually you know characters have certain distinctions so hopefully this continues to be good I do like it so far um I did enjoy Caraval so that's really my reading update for today I haven't really done anything else I did buy another Halloween mug um well it's more of a fall mug it says hello autumn um, I really need to stop it with the mugs because it's a problem and I, I just, I'm, I'm gonna run out of space, but that's okay. Also, if you hear a lot of noises, it's because there are kitties running around everywhere. Right now they're fighting, but um, that's okay. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go to bed, so I will see you guys again tomorrow. Hopefully, I will have um, got Brightly Burning and brought it home and read more and I will be able to give you more thoughts. And uh, yeah, so uh, good night. <laughs> Ahoy there, mateys. Shiver me timbers. I don't know if you know this, but um, it's currently Thursday, and it's Talk Like a Pirate Day, so um, I just had to do that. I had to do that. Um, but yeah, so it's Thursday now, Thursday evening around 8.45, close to 9 o'clock, and I have a reading update for you. I finished the book finally, hooray! Um, today I finally remembered to get my book from work, and um, so I read almost 200 pages today. Wild. I read uh, Brightly Burning, Brightly, yeah, Brightly Burning by Alexa Dunn. I finished it. This book was so... Honestly, I want to say this book is underrated because I feel as if I don't hear enough people talk about this book on booktube. Yes, it is um, more on the YA heavy romance side, but I think it's a lot of fun for people that really love Press by Marissa Meyer. If you love that whole like sci-fi space aspect, um, you would really enjoy this. It has a lot of aspects of that. Also for people that are fans of the 100, I think you would also really enjoy Enjoy this um, and I, d I don't know why but I also was getting like xenon vibes from this so that as well and I really enjoyed this overall because the characters were really heartwarming and yes it's a retelling so these are characters that I think are sort of in, you know based inspired by these characters from Jane Eyre and I still don't know the story of Jane Eyre so there's that so maybe I enjoyed it more because of that so I didn't have anything to really critique on as you know based on the original but overall all, I highly enjoyed this. I really enjoyed our main character and though this book had romance as its center it didn't um it didn't bug me. I think it's because it wasn't so um it didn't feel rushed. It felt a lot more like it was just going to happen subtly organically over time and it just kind of felt like okay this is gonna happen and I can tell and they're getting closer and this is eventually gonna happen and it did and it was cute and adorable and I liked it and I love that this book had a lot of stakes there was a lot of like conspiracies and political intrigue going on and just a lot of um, tension and build-up and I just really enjoyed it I don't know why more people don't talk about Brightly Burning by Alexa Dunn but I highly enjoyed this so if you do enjoy science fiction, if you enjoy books set in space, um, if you like Crest by Marissa Meyer, that's probably my biggest comparison, I would highly recommend this. Um, but I'm really, really happy I read this. I think I would love to get my own copy someday. So I read that and that's basically all I read today. Um, I'm still 30 pages into Legendary by Stephanie Garber and I... I plan for the next hour before I go to bed just to continue reading this. Um, I don't have any other thoughts because I didn't read any more last night, I just went to bed. Um, so that's my reading plans for the rest of the week to read this. I don't know if I'll finish it by Sunday because this book is a chunker. 
I want to say it's at least 400 pages. Yeah, it is 400 and about 50 pages. So this is going to take me a bit to read, but who knows? Maybe I'll finish it. That, that would be awesome if I could, you know, have two books done within a week. That'd be great. Anyway, I'm rambling, so I'm going to read and then relax and go to bed. So I will see you hopefully tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. It is Friday evening. It is Friday around, I want to say it's probably already 10. I just got home uh, from my boyfriend's place. We hung out, watched Casper, made cookies. It was a good time. And so I came home and I found a package. Um, now I know I was receiving a book from a publisher. I know I was, re I was receiving a book from Orbit, um, but they sent um, a big old box here um that says what does it say war politics revolution i know what the book is it is by joe abercrombie it's um his new release so i had to say yes when they asked me so i'm gonna flip this camera and we're gonna open it together now for those that don't know i love joe abercrombie i love dark fantasy and i'm so excited so let's let's open this okay here we go ready guys are you ready let's open it oh whoa okay the age of madness has arrived Whoa, rip, come on. Okay, I'm struggling, here we go. Whoa, okay, this is fine. Come on, I can't do this one-handed. Okay, whoa, okay, here we go. Joe Abercrombie, A Little Hatred. Look at it, oh my God, they sent me a finished copy holy smokes i love joe abercrombie so much the age of madness book one i have no idea what this is about except that it i think takes place in the world of the first law trilogy which i love so much oh my gosh i am so happy right now look at that cover holy smokes it's so beautiful a tale of brute force and subtle magic set in a world on the cusp of an industrial revolution. Buckle your seatbelts. Robin Hobb blurbed it. Who else blurbed it? Pierce Brown? Nicholas Eames? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I am so excited for this book. Should I drop everything to read it? Because I think I should. I think I might have to. Oh my goodness. I am so happy right now. Look at this thing. This is such a chunker. This book is let's see how long is this book 400 and like 60 pages not too bad not too bad i can't wait to read this oh my goodness thank you orbit for sending me this book ah oh, a finished copy i feel so special anyway okay in other news i didn't read much today because today was crazy at work and i didn't even really get a break um so i've only read up to page 62 in legend by stephanie garber unfortunately i do plan to make myself a cup of tea and read as much as i can until i fall asleep today um so that's the plan as for what i've read i don't have much of an update we're still reading from the point of view from donatella the sister and i like it so far I guess there's a lot of sort of background information we're getting on the family which I like um, so that's good and um, yeah so let's just hope I keep reading more I would love to finish this by the end of Sunday we'll see I don't know but I would love to do that let's do it let's do it let's do it let's do it okay I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'll see you tomorrow bye <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. Hi. It is 
Sunday. It is Sunday. I just got off of work. It is around uh, like two or something like that. And um, I can't believe it's Sunday. This week flip, I really fast. You know, it was Monday and then boom, it's now Sunday. Where to go? Um, I think I forgot to give you a reading update yesterday. Um, I just kind of enjoyed my day. Um, my boyfriend and I, we went and found our Halloween costumes at the Halloween store. We're going to be Ghostbusters and I'm really excited. Um, and also uh, he decorated my uh, reading room with a bunch of Halloween stuff which I'll show you in just a bit. It's really really cool. I love it. And um, yeah, so reading wise, I didn't I didn't read at all yesterday really. I don't think I did. I might have read maybe 10 pages of my book if even that. But I'm currently on page 134 of Legend. And you know, we're still in the beginning of the book. You know, things are still moving. We're getting our setup uh, for this second new performance that Caraval is performing. And we're trying to figure out the history of the person that kind of runs the show, his name Legend. We're trying to figure out who he actually is. That's kind of like the goal of this second book setup sort of thing. And that's about it. And I can tell that there's gonna be another romance in this one, like a super angsty one but um and possibly it's a love triangle i'm not exactly sure it, there were hints of that so yeah um i am enjoying it i don't know if i like it more than the first one because it, it feels kind of i don't want to say it's more of the same but honestly the beginning setup and how things are going feel very similar to the first one so hopefully it's not really a carbon copy of the first book that would be really disappointing if that's how it went because why would you just retell the story the same exact way in the second book that doesn't make any sense but but hopefully that doesn't happen. Um, so that is my reading update for, you know, basically Sunday. I do plan for the rest of the, the day to just read until I go to bed around like nine or 10. So we'll see how far I get into this book. I don't think I'll finish it, unfortunately. That was my hope, um, but it doesn't look like that will happen because I still have 300 more pages. I mean, it's not impossible, but I would probably have to stay up pretty late to finish it. Um, so we'll see what happens. You know, if I can read at least another 100 pages, I'd be happy so yeah I'm gonna go read and I'll show you my my reading room how it looks because it's all spooky and cool it's more cute than anything but uh yeah okay so when you walk in you have these little spider webs and they're super cute there's like this pumpkin right here there's more webs up there we have my bookshelf here which is that's my old camera here we have my bookshelf that is covered in this uh, fabric and I think it looks really really cool and then over here we have more spiderweb stuff it looks super creepy more spiderweb stuff over there and a pumpkin and then you have my actual bookshelf here which we have some stuff going on here like we have this pumpkin that pumpkin a spider what else do we have? We have skeletons that fell off the shelf, so I have to put those back up. Um, and then we have like this little leaf decoration. There's a kitty. Hey, Binks. Binks. Say hello. No! You know you're not supposed to! Um, and then we have another pumpkin. We've got this cool little pumpkin that my boyfriend made. It's adorable. Um, we have more pumpkins and like these little fake candles and spiders. These little signs that I think are adorable. And then up here we have more of that fabric with spiders. And we have that boo ghost thingy and some witches and it's just adorable it's adorable and I love it so much and there is a kitty Binks you're not supposed to play right there no not you too Tarzan we have reached the end of this reading vlog. It is now uh, still Sunday, but it is around nine o'clock and I have read up to page 240 of Caraval. Not Caraval, Legendary. I have read up to page 240 of Legendary. So I still have about 200 pages left of this book and I do plan to read more, but I'm gonna go take a shower right now and then after just, just relax and read before I go to bed. So that's my plan. Man. but I just wanted to end it here to let you know where I'm about you know I still have 200 pages I think I could probably read the rest tomorrow to be honest so I think I'll finish this book tomorrow so you'll see my end thoughts in my next reading vlog but as for right now I do I am enjoying the book um I one thing that I think is just really interesting but also a little bit aggravating about this book and story in general is that this whole um performance 
thing that's going on in the first book and in, in this book is all just it's all fake it, it could be real but it could be just complete just bupkis it could be bull so you you don't truly know if what's happening is is true or if what the the characters are saying are lies or if or if it's if it's actually happening if it's just uh, on for the show or if the stakes are real or if the stakes are not real so it has me just so confused because I'm wondering okay is this character saying the truth are they lying is it all an act are they deceiving them what is going on and it's making me it's definitely keeping me interested because I want to know what's going on so I have to keep reading but at the same time I just I'm kind of to the point where I'm like okay come on can we just figure out what's going on and I know that there's one more book in this trilogy so I have a feeling that I'm not even going to figure out who the main guy behind the performance legend who he actually is I have a feeling that won't be revealed till the next one um, if that happens I might be very annoyed but we'll see what happens um, so overall I do find it fun I mean it's it's you know this carnival it's so magical the costumes the characters the act everything it's great but at the same time I just want to know what's real and what's not real so yeah that that's my thoughts on this book so far i read half of legendary and then i finished brightly burning so a book and a half read this week could have done better but you know that's okay it's okay i had a good week nonetheless so I hope you all had a good reading week as well. Let me know what you read. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Leave your thoughts down below. I want to chat with you and I hope you have a good one and I will see you very soon. Bye.